It's a carousel of grips out there. Which one are you going to choose? Okay, hey, welcome back to the McGolf Shop, and now we're going to start our series of uh, educational slash informational slash, well, let's just have some fun videos. First one is the grip. The grip is the only thing that connects you to the golf club, and it's what gives you the personality of the golf club, and it also transmit a, a way that the club will perform. You know, when you pick that club up and you waggle it around, you go, wow, that's a really great feeling club. Well, how would you know if you've never hit a golf ball? All right, it's all because of the way that the grip feels to you. Now, in the beginning, this was a grip. Not much of one, right? Wooden shaft, really old club, and there really wasn't much to it. Well, then they realized, well, if I really want to grab a hold of the golf club better, I need to put something on it. Turned out, Something like that evolved to it. Uh, leather, leather wrapping, put a decorative grip or decorative, decorative cap on the top, and it had a uh, grip. Now, if you notice, significantly longer than the new modern grip. Well, that was because uh, of the way that they used to hold the club in order to golf. You need a little bit more grip. And each club had a little more usage than what we use a modern day club. So that's the evolution of the grip. Now, now uh, they are injected rubber, uh, elastomers, and some synthetics. So we've really gotten to the modern age of the golf grip. Um, in the beginning, uh, Golf Pride uh, came came up with the idea of being able to slide a grip on, and hence you have now the modern day grip. Uh, like we said before, you the primary components are rubber. Pure is known for that, Golf Pride is known for that, Lampkin is known for that. And then you have the synthetic grips, which is the wind style grips. That basically, there's an underlisting and then a wrap of the material over top of it. And then the uh, elastomers. And the elastomers are more of for the iomic grip. Um, very durable stuff, uh, very colorful stuff, and a little more pricey than the other stuff. But uh, you get what you pay for. So... How do we know what we need? Well, the first thing you got to do is size your hands. And most people will size only one part of their hand, and that would be the back hand. They go, oh, yeah, look, this is how it fits. Well, that's half the story. The other half is your top hand. If it's gripping very tightly in order to hold on to it, chances are you could be flipping. If it's way too big, chances are you could be blocking. All catalysts, not reasons, but catalysts and the reasons why you might have issues with your golf game. So when you're in here, either like this, like this, or even like this, you want to check the pad uh, in the finger, and you just want a little, if you can do this, that's a little too much. You want it touching to just barely touching. And the same with this one, with the fingers into the thumb. You want it touching and just barely touching. So you, it's very important that you do both hands, okay? Just don't go in there going, oh, yeah, this fits good here because you don't know uh, what's going to be. Case in point, the new grips from the Golf Pride uh, have come out with less taper because the tour has been giving them feedback that, hey, we've been building up our what would be the top hand, and, uh, and so they've responded with a, a series of grips and been incredibly popular. Uh, the second is, what environment do you play in? Do you play in a high humidity environment or do your hands sweat? So that would mean you need something either that's very grippy, and I don't mean tacky, I just mean very grippy, or it could be very sticky, okay? Uh, so in those cases, the very grippy, you could have something that has a high texture to it. And this is a very aggressive texture and it tends to grab you back and it makes room for the sweat. Uh, these guys, have half cord at this side and very high textured uh, rubber on that end. Uh, those are those are just some of the the choices. Uh, if you like something a little softer, these guys don't do too bad in the wet as well. Now some of these models, if you go to the older style, not so much, but the newer styles that'll work. Some of these are really good. Now if you want extra super tack, 
Uh, they have a couple of these grips. This is your 2G grip, and this is what's called the Super Tack. These guys are very, very sticky, something that would be good in high humidity. Let's say you're not in high humidity. Let's say you're in low humidity and your hands don't sweat. Now you might be into something along the lines of uh, just like a, you know, it's a tour velvet line. It's called the Pro Line. And it's, it's got a lot of uh, grip. Think of it as kind of a car tire. You know, they have a lot of grip, but they're not real sticky. Well, there's that one. Uh, these guys do the same thing in their CP line. All right, they have that very same thing. And um, amongst there, everybody has something like that. Uh, now, another consideration is, uh, are your hands sensitive? You know, some, uh, some people have very, very sensitive hands. Uh, sensitive skin or uh, their nerves are very sensitive to the impact and in that case you need something that is cushioning uh, very much in the wind profile does that very well if you have uh, very large hands uh, jumbo max a very good choice for that one uh, these guys have a C the cp2 line the golf ride has cp2 and it's soft now uh, you know it's all about uh, vibration dampening and that's what you're looking for. Uh, another consideration is arthritis. You know, you can't grip, and they say, well, you get those big arthritic grips, and that's true. Uh, you get the jumbo size grips will tend to work in just about every line. There's one out there that has a bunch of nubbins on it. I don't understand that one, but some people tend to like it. Maybe it transmits a little more feel. You could again go back to the jumbo max. You could go to a jumbo grip of that one. Or you could even go to a jumbo grip of the of the 2G. It's a little harder, but you can do it. it just depends on the on the level of of, of sensitivity to your hands. Uh, the other part is you have to worry about is uh, color. Does it match your clubs? Do you like whites, blacks, reds, blues, yellows, greens, oranges, and look and look around. Pure Grip is known well, uh, known very much for their uh, the color selection. Uh, Golf Pride has a good color selection for their uh, dual decade grips. And uh, in this one, you're basically stuck with gray. And now they have their 25th anniversary edition. So I'm only talking about a select few putter com or I'm sorry, grip companies. You have Golf Pride, which is the number one. Uh, Pure Grip is, short, uh, is rapidly becoming our second most favorite grip. Although industry-wide, I would imagine Lampkin is up in there somewhere. Uh, wind Grip is a great grip uh, for the people that prefer a softer feel. Uh, for me, uh, I try to I get a softer grip and I just squeeze it all the way down to the bottom. It becomes impossible for me to swing. So I need something that is a little bit firmer, but not so firm as in that it just vibrates all the way. So I'm in the middle. I'm a middle of the road guy. Uh, there's the Iomic, which is, uses the elastomers, uh, and then there's combinations of both, okay? Uh, the way that, how will a grip wear? Well, if you play a lot of golf, and I mean a lot of golf, let's say three, four times a week, chances are you're going to be replacing your grips at least annually. If you uh, are leaving your clubs in the garage or in the back of your car the entire season through the winter, you might be doing it every year as well. Uh, but if you take care of your grips, and all you have to do is wipe them off with some uh, warm water and an aggressive towel, like a microfiber golf towel, and that takes your hand oils off and that allows them to last a little bit longer. If you don't do that, then you're going to be changing them out a little more frequently. Uh, the other part would be uh, if you don't play a lot and you are taking care of grip, you might go two, two and a half years. It really depends on your usage, where you leave your clubs, and do you take care of them. And you do all three, they last longer. You don't do all three, they don't last as long. Pretty simple stuff. Finally, putter grips. Uh, putter grips by USGA is the only grip that can be not round, meaning that it has a flat side on it. And this is one of the bigger ones, see, flat side. And that's what this is allowed for. Now. Uh, win very good in the putter grip uh, arena this year, last year, and this year. Superstroke. Superstroke has been an awesome grip for us this year. 
it allows you to take both hands and get good firm grip on the golf club. So uh, if you're looking, and they come in different sizes, size ones, twos, and threes. Uh, they come in different styles. Uh, they have a flat so, and they have their legacies, and they do have some counterbalancing. Uh, golf Pride has a new selection of putter grips coming out that look to be really good. And Tour Mark, who we just received yesterday for me to look at, and uh, they have loudmouth grips. They also have team grips, like if you're a Colts fan or a Chiefs fan or an Ohio Buckeyes fan, they have grips with the team on it. These guys come with little ball markers that are magnetic and they stay at the very top. See that? You can also get, if you really want to uh, support your team, they have clear grips. And what they do is they it's a nice rubbery elastomer type grip and uh, you wrap your shaft with the sticker or, uh, and they go Army, Air Force, Navy, Marines. Uh, they have They'll have bunches of colleges, uh, baseball, football, they have that. Uh, it goes on in a much different fashion than a regular grip. Uh, I would suggest finding me and I'll put it on for you. So, you got to know your size. You got to know your texture, your environment. You got to take care of them. And then you got to find out what fits your attitude. Uh, colors, aggressiveness, that kind of stuff. And make sure that they're always in good condition. Uh, Golf Pride's done a survey and that when you change out worn grips to new grips, you literally lose, uh, lose some strokes. So keep your grips in good shape. They'll take care of you while you're taking care of them and you'll see your scores go low. So if you really thought you had some fun with this or you found out something that you liked about it, uh, do us a favor and like the video. If you want to find out more because there'll be more of this coming down the line, uh, in the next one we're going to talk about golf shafts and uh, subscribe and then that way you'll know when I've posted a new video. And like anything else when you come to McGolf you get the treatment the pros get and let's see your scores go low.